Hi there, I'm Ryan Thompson. And the reason I made this video is because folks are often asking me why in some of my YouTube channel videos I'm playing right-handed violin, and then in other videos I'm playing left-handed violin. So I thought I'd explain it. What I have is a medical condition, and it's called focal dystonia. And you can Google focal dystonia and look that up and find out everything that you need to know about that. It's a condition where I've acquired this condition that's permanent, and there's no way that I can really do much about it in my situation. I've lost the ability to coordinate my right arm when I'm bowing a violin. I can do certain things really well, other things don't work at all. And in order to play a violin, everything has to be working properly. So I went through a period of being quite depressed when I couldn't play anymore, and then I got the idea that perhaps I could reteach myself to play violin left-handed. Since my left arm works, seems to work in every normal way, and my fingers in my right hand seem to be working perfectly normal, um, I thought maybe I could just learn how to play the other way around, playing left-handed, so I did. I taught myself how to play left-handed violin, and now I'm a much happier person because I'm back to playing my fiddle tunes and I'm, I can be a good teacher uh, with kids and different people that are learning how to play. And probably in some ways I'm a better teacher because I had to learn how to play violin twice. There aren't very many people that have to learn how to play violin twice in a row, but I did and I did it. And so part of the reason I made this video is to explain why folks see me in videos playing both ways and the other reason is I'm hoping that because of my experiences I can share this with you and if you know folks that have different types of disabilities and things to know that sometimes you can make yourself a happier person by moving forward in a different direction than what you could formerly do. In my case I was able to spend a lot of time and a lot of effort and a number of hard years to teach myself how to play violin and it's made me very happy and I feel like I'm a productive member of society and hopefully um, other folks will be able to find ways that they can um, regain some learn new skills or find a new way of doing something that they used to be able to formally do well and to bring some happiness into their lives and that's pretty much why I made this video and now I'm just going to give you a little demonstration so that you know what I meant by the focal dystonia. Now I play violin now uh, entirely left-handed when I perform and that means left-handed means that I bow with my left arm so so that's what I do I can play fiddle tunes I can um, playing in a uh, chamber music group as an amateur violinist I can play some classical music and I can do pretty much everything I could do right-handed and then some even some things that I couldn't do because I've learned a lot of new repertoire since I started playing left-handed so my left arm bows pretty well even though I am naturally right-handed so I have to work extra hard with my left arm in order to make it play the violin but I'll tell you it's really nice to be playing now I've got a right-handed violin here so I'm gonna pick this up Now, the problem with the right-handed violin is I have really good control of when my arm goes up. When I'm doing what's called an up bow, moving up is great. I can, I can do that just fine. Where I have trouble is if I try to do a down bow on the violin. And when I do that, I lose control of my bowing arm. So a typical thing that will happen is that I'll be moving my bow down like this and all of a sudden I, I can't stop it. The arm just keeps on going and the bow goes right off the end of the strings. Or the other thing that will happen is I'll be going down like this and my arm starts wobbling sideways and that's all due to the muscles in my back. There's some muscles in my shoulder area and they let my right shoulder just sort of float around and I don't have coordination when I go to play the violin. Very, very frustrating. But luckily now, I've switched to left, so I'm just fine. Every once in a while, I get out the right-handed violin because I have nice vibrato and I still have pretty good tone. And the vibrato is where you make that kind of a sound like that. So sometimes when I'm teaching and I want to teach vibrato, I switch over and hold my left-handed violin right-handed. Um, so that's pretty much what's happening. Focal dystonia is a really serious 
a uh, serious disease and a serious problem for a lot of people. It's probably, in a lot of cases, uh, the scientists say that it's genetic in origin. It's not catching. Um, it's not something that you can uh, give to someone else. It's something that you have inside of you. You're probably born with a predisposition to have it. And I hope that a lot of folks who see this, who have various disabilities, I hope that because you saw that I, in some way I was able to overcome uh, my focal dystonia, my disability, and it's brought new happiness in my life because I can play music at a level that I formerly could. And I know not everyone will be able to have an opportunity to learn to regain their former skills or their former things, but hopefully uh, you can maybe move forward in a different direction, learn a new skill, um, learn something else that can bring happiness to you. One of the things that I've been able to help people with is I've spoken to a lot of other folks with disabilities, particularly musicians, and where they've lost the ability to play a particular instrument, oftentimes I've been able to um, point them in a direction toward a new musical instrument, a different musical instrument, or a different style. Because I personally play several different musical instruments, and so I'm aware of what needs to be done uh, mechanically with with arms and fingers and, and so forth to play different things. So that's been an enjoyment to me also to help folks out that way. And I'd like to thank you for spending some time to watch this video. And um, it's been a, kind of a long trip for me and an interesting journey to go um, through this and deal with focal dystonia. But I beat it. I did it. And I hope that you can make some advances like that in your own life.